Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Forza Horizon 5, As the Horizon Comes. Uh, yeah, this is the latest entry in the Forza Horizon series, as I'm sure you know, and I'm playing it on launch day through Game Pass because I was having a hard time justifying spending $130 to get four days access uh, when you can get this game on Game Pass fairly easily. But I wanted to drive around the map a little bit and kind of just discuss my feelings on the game so far. Uh, and let's put some context to this. I have maybe 30 hours in Forza Horizon 4, uh, so I was not the biggest player of it <laughs> by any means. But I did enjoy my time with it, and it was also my first Forza Horizon, so that's what I have to uh, base this experience on. Now today is launch day as I'm recording this and I have been attempting to stream the game for several hours. I kind of woke up early and was trying to stream it, um, but then I remembered as I attempted to get the game to work properly with OBS, which is the software I'm using to record this right now through a bit of a, well, <laughs> a bit of a bypass, but uh, this game and the other Forza Horizon, specifically 4, uh, does not like being recorded with OBS. Microsoft does not allow it to uh, hook in as it would normally do, and that per causes me some significant issues. I don't have an Elgato, I don't have, uh, well, OBS is my main thing, so it's kind of hard for me to, to use anything else. Obviously that's my problem, but it is something that Microsoft really should change. I think they were able to do that in later years with Forza Horizon 4, but my goodness, it should have been day one with this game. I know that they probably do it for uh, like hacking reasons, maybe some people are able to use that hook for, for nefarious purposes, but man oh man, it's really annoying to just the average content creator. So we did manage to figure out how to make it record, at the very least, as you're noticing now I am recording, but it took a lot of trial and error and it was a pain in the butt. Um, but it still doesn't stream properly, I don't, I can't get it to stream right. Uh, I even tried Shadowplay uh, and it did not work, so I don't know if that's just because it's launch day, but it's uh, there's got to be some issues going on there and I hope that they're able to sort those things out. Talking about the game itself, I'm going to try not to complain too much because I hate complaining on the internet. Honestly, it's uh, oftentimes it's just very draining, but I really, uh, I've been saying this a few times on my streams and pretty much since the beginning of, of when I was seeing trailers for this game, but it really looks like Forza Horizon 4 and for a lot of people that isn't a bad thing but this is Forza Horizon 5 not Forza Horizon 4 DLC but it really just feels like a new big expansion for Forza Horizon 4. Now there are some meaningful updates especially the sound of the cars is very significant and something that uh, I'm happy has changed but it really kind of just feels the same. I haven't done too much racing in the game yet, I'm very uh, early in the stages, but I have been watching other people's content specifically to try and figure out what settings they're using so I can get my stream to work properly, but ah man, it's just like, like everything is pretty much the same, <laughs> even the menus are basically the same. Wheel spins are still here, as you would guess, although they're not quite as flashy, uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> These things are just annoying, honestly, it's dumb. The car list as of now is virtually the same, um, although obviously this game is bound to get tons and tons of DLC, which kind of brings me to my next uh, thing of note to talk about, the negative thing before we get into some positives. I hate that this game is $130. Like, for a game that feels so similar to Forza Horizon 4, if you want the full game with all the DLC, 130 Canadian dollars is what you're going to have to spend. That's what it was to get early access. And that's just insane. I don't really see these games coming down in value or price, I guess, either. I, I think you do get a lot for your money. It's a, it's a big game, even in base form. But man, is it expensive. It makes me happy that they have things like Game Pass. And I guess they're probably trying to encourage Game Pass with the exorbitant pricing. But this was only a dollar for me to play and I'm very happy about that, my goodness. Looks like we've got a Lamborghini chasing us around, but I'm kind of after the uh, bonus boards here, so <laughs> we'll just ignore that guy. Okay, let's let's get off of the negatives. I, I don't want to just make this video into a super negative one. Let's talk about some positives. Uh, Mexico is beautiful, my goodness, the map is gorgeous, and as I explore new places, I find more vistas and things that I like. 
Uh, this is a lovely countryside to be in and the graphics in this game are excellent so very happy about that although again th it doesn't seem like that much of a jump from 4 like I really feel I'm playing on extreme I'm playing at uh, 1440p uh, high FPS uh, usually around 72 FPS is what I think I have it capped at so I, I can hopefully see the full spectrum of colors and graphics that this game has to offer but it really just feels kind of the same as Forza Horizon 4 um, with a little bit extra detail it's it's not noticeable I'm sure on Xbox it's a bit different uh, obviously the more powerful the Xbox the better the graphics are gonna be at least theoretically and that's a good thing for console players for sure but on PC Forza Horizon 4 was already a really gorgeous game and this game is equally gorgeous pretty much the same it's hard to give any sort of comprehensive review when, oh, there's a train, when when, when this game is so massive, uh, like, there is a big map, there's a lot of cars, there's hundreds of hours of races because you can do them over again, and you play with your friends as well. There's a lot of content to explore here, and uh, that is, well, it's a good thing, but it is very overwhelming. Some other good things, uh, let's talk about the settings. So if we go here, there is an entire tab dedicated to accessibility, which is nice. Um, just tons and tons of stuff. Like personally, I don't need any of these things, but for those of you who might need these things, there is a lot here. It's very clear to me that they're trying to make this game as accessible as they can uh, to a wide audience because they want to, well, it's a, it's a marketable Xbox game. It is the Xbox franchise and uh, obviously they want everybody to be able to play it. I think Microsoft has always been pretty good at that kind of thing, having a, adaptable controllers and stuff for people with disabilities. It, it makes a lot of sense that they would have their mainline games also be full of accessibility features. And again, with racing games, uh, difficulty is all over the place because uh, you can set your difficulty how you want. Your difficulty comes from physics, comes from AI. Uh, again, this game has a lot of difficulty settings. So there, there's a wide range of adaptability for people who need that kind of thing. Personally, uh, you can check out my settings here. Going for above average dri Dravatar difficulty for now, and then just custom stuff. Uh, with manual gearbox you can probably tell my shifting is bad so <laughs> it's not the game doing that that's me so the only car i've driven extensively at this point is the supra that i'm currently driving and uh i i mean it's a bmw i know memes but it is a nice car and it's fun to drive in my experience so far just driving around the map i mean i've discovered 113 roads the physics feel very similar to forza horizon 4 which i guess is a good thing i like the physics in that game the sound makes a huge difference obviously i'm playing on streamer mode so i don't have any music and then i'll be adding my own music hey there's another <laughs> Supra right there and I'm gonna crash into a house but yeah with with the settings I have the uh, physics feel very very similar to the past game and um, I feel like that's okay I know that more experienced players will be able to tell the slight differences the small stuff that people like me who haven't spent as much time will be able to notice but I really feel like it's uh, very similar which is fine I love the detail in this game like driving through these small areas like this lots of little pieces and stuff oftentimes they have physics like that like that dirt bike i just ran over <laughs> and uh yeah definitely some interesting locales um i haven't explored too much of the map yet so i'm looking forward to seeing what other weirdness there is because they kind of have to check a bit of a box for some of the areas in here obviously more stuff will be added to the game as things progress but for now, I'm just going to quickly go over and do a race for you so you can see what it's like. Although I'm sure if you're watching this and you're interested in Forza, you've seen races so far. But let's do this one and uh, yeah, maybe jump into a different car. I think the best thing about the Horizon games is that you can just kind of aim and then uh, go. <laughs> I've been ignoring the roads for the most part and uh, this is how I travel in this game. I know this is a Supra, this isn't exactly an off-roader but it works so i'm keeping up and <laughs> i managed to hit enough trees to get another wheel spin and uh, hey we got a shelby gt500 man i wish i had one of these in real life all right let's get into an event uh against avatars for fun although i guess i don't have the option yet to go against real people 
which is fine. <laughs> um, let's pick up a different car. Uh, let's go ahead and do this with the slightly better Corvette, although I don't know why I have two of them. I think it might be something to do with owning the uh, previous Forza. Something I find really weird about this game that I don't think I mentioned before, but the protagonist is voiced. Was that a thing in the last game? Like, I, I don't remember it being a thing in the last game, so it's very awkward for me to, to see that, but <laughs> alright, let's get into it with the Corvette and uh, you'll get to see how the drive avatars are. I know for some people that's very important. Um, the AI is obviously big in these games uh, as, well, most of your racing is done versus them unless you're online all the time. This is not a track for supercars, but <laughs> I also don't expect to win this either. <clears throat> and there's a Lamborghini on top of me. The thing with these Forza games and their desire to be adaptable for everyone is I, I don't think it's actually possible to <laughs> to make everybody happy. There'll always be people who are mad. I mean, this game has a mixed uh, thing on Steam right now, a mixed review score, um, because a lot of people are having performance issues, but also because some people are just not pleased with the game overall, just reading the reviews. So despite the game trying to be as accessible as ever, it still isn't for everybody. And that's kind of the thing. Like. I really don't think that there's ever going to be a game that is liked universally. <laughs> There'll always be somebody who's like, well actually, and even with the, the classics like Half-Life, Half-Life 2, some, some games that are considered the best of all time, people are like, man, I didn't like that game. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to say that this is one of the best of all time. I, I heard that some people who have pl played all the Horizons say that this is the best Horizon, and I don't necessarily doubt that. Oh, I hope I didn't miss that checkpoint. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Thank goodness. Like, if this is the best Horizon, then my goodness, that's great. I just feel like it didn't depart enough from 4. Uh, it, but that's my opinion, obviously. Uh, what I think is negligible in the wide world of things. And apparently I'm terrible at driving, so what I think matters even less. Just last night, I was playing uh, Forza Motorsport 2. Uh, the, well, I think it was a 2007 game, 2006, long time ago, <laughs> but man, it's actually good. It holds up pretty well as well in my 360. Uh, I don't have any of the newer Xboxes, but it is fun, and that's kind of the point. Like, as long as a game is still fun years later, I, I think it's, it's worth it, um, and I'm hopeful that these games can continue to be even if they're quite similar all the way through. And it looks like we aren't going to win this one. But that's okay, that's it for the racing. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments and what your ideas are on this game. Obviously, I need work in terms of my driving, but this is just my initial opinion on it. Things can change, opinions and ideas can change. My uh, viewpoints on this may change drastically the more that I play. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm level five, right? I got time to, time to move here. Subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, then tell me why <laughs> so I can improve. I'll see you guys again next time. Okay, get rid of this, please. Please, get rid of it. <laughs> I never want to see my character dance like that ever again.